Interview with the vampire Sam Reed breaks down that brutal, heartbreaking death. Exclusive. It's all messy and chaotic. Reed says of season two, episode seven's fatal trial. Warning. This article contains spoilers for interview with the vampire season two. Episode seven. I could not prevent it. The moment interview with the vampire fans have been dreading for two seasons finally arrived. And just as it happens in Anne Rice's book and the 1994 film adaptation, poor, cursed Claudia, Delaney Hales, met her tragic end. Sunday's episode, I Could Not Prevent It, followed in painstaking detail all the ways in which Claudia, her companion Madeleine, Roxane Duran, and Louis, Jacob Anderson, were tortured and punished by Armands, Asad Zaman, Coven for breaking their ancient vampire code of conduct. With less stats, Sam Reed, incriminating and extremely biased. Testimony during their trial disguised as a play, they were all found guilty. Lewis remembered Armand using his powers to save him from death and be banished instead. So the coven trapped Lewis in a coffin to starve for the rest of eternity. But Armand claimed he could not prevent Claudia's death as she and Madeline were exposed to the sun. Claudia sang as she burned to death, holding Madeline in her arms, while Lestet watched her die with tears in his eyes. When Reed first read the script for episode seven, he had a lot of questions. There's a lot of layers in it, and there's a lot of things that I needed to understand. Reed tells Entertainment Weekly, I usually have a lot of questions, but that episode, particularly, I had a lot of questions. How is this happening? How did we get ourselves into this situation? The trial is a very complex bit of writing because it's written as a play, directed, rehearsed, and then there are certain points when Lestat starts going off book. Lestat begins the trial recounting all the events of season one, except it's very different from how Lewis told the story. But halfway through, Lestat starts following Santiago's, Ben Daniel's, script, and, overcome with guilt, tearfully apologizes to Lewis for hurting him. He's coming out for revenge, and then he changes his mind. Reed says, that's the framework of the way that the story is told by Lewis and Armand. But they also don't know that he changes his mind. So there's a lot of layers. This is complex. And then there's some points which really feel like it's a dream. When it's in reverse and you see the scene silhouetted, then there's a big sweeping, dramatic kind of camera moves that go into his face, which I think is very clearly not true. Where it's a very clear dreamlike hyper, hyper, hyper simplification of what happened at that trial. He laughs before adding, there's a lot of complexity in our vampire show. Playing multiple different versions of Lestat, depending on who is telling the story, made season two even more of a challenge for Reed who explains that there's more going on behind the scenes to influence his portrayal in every single scene, especially during the trial. It's one thing to say, I'm always going to play this character's point of view, Reed says, but that can be confusing for an audience. So sometimes I've got to show some part of how it really went, so that when you see that, you think, why did he do it like that? Or why is he speaking in that way? so that it does feel justified when you fully understand what happened. Why might he be looking like he's going to fall over? Or why does he look like he's struggling here when he shouldn't be? Reed continues, he's trying to get the audience eating out of his hand so he can manipulate them. He needs to be constantly going out, touching them, being near them, getting them to laugh, getting them to be totally eating out of his hand. But it's very hard to do that when you've got Louis there, you've got Claudia there. It is very hard to control because he's just like a ball of emotion. He's a tempest of his feelings. He's not very good at controlling himself. He's also not a planner. He just kind of feels it out and wings it. So it's all messy and chaotic. And this is the last place he wants to be. It's a lot of bad feelings, a lot of bad history, a lot bad blood there.